Justin, can you just describe how you're feeling after that one? Just a disappointing loss tonight. Yeah. Um... Similar to the last few games, to be honest. We've been in winning positions in recent times, I mean, most of the year, and we just continue to make simple errors that hurt ourselves, um, which is the, the frustration on that part. I mean, we hold them to 73 until we start fouling. Like, that's a winnable position, and then, you know, we go shoot 33% for the game, and it's, you know, like, they're all controllables on us, um, you know, thought we found some advantages early on and we, we were really good at, at being able to you know put feet in the paint, generate good looks and then even down the stretch we did the same thing and just not knocking those shots down. So that's the initial thought on the, the totality of it. Um, but, you know, for me, like, for us to come out at the start of the third and for me to have to call a timeout about effort is just not acceptable when we're playing for our lives and, you know, that's what we have to, to be better at and change right now. Uh, Josh, Rusty start in the first quarter for you guys there. Was there anything you noticed, a, a theme at all, or was it just sort of not shots falling? Hmm. Um, not there were not particularly. I think some, we've started slow in a few games. Like we started slow against Adelaide. Um, tonight necessarily didn't feel like as slow. And so, like we were, I think we were doing a good job defensively. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I just think offensively we weren't sort of putting points on the board at the rate we want to be. I, I, what is it here? They scored 15 points for the first quarter and th halfway through the first quarter they scored four points. Like you can't, defensively you can't ask for much more. Um, but we have to find some more rhythm offensively, continue to share the ball um, and get guys in situations where they're at their best. Um, and that's something I think we're still got to continue to work on. In that um, the period just after half time, there, do you feel like your team caught enough intensity coming out of that break there, or uh, was that something, as Justin just referred to there, that's something you guys need to be coming out of the break straight away, knowing you're down, knowing this is a must-win second half? Um, yeah, look, I yeah, it's that, that that's another thing which has kind of been a theme for us is the start of third quarters has been sloppy, like really sloppy. Uh, we have been in a, like unable to come out of half time and bring a lot of energy and like real I think there's been some times where we don't as a group have a great recognition of the importance of every moment and that moment in time to the game like right now we we're, we're falling to a spot where we're seven and 11 yeah. 10 games to go where we're, we're starting to have we're gonna fight, have to fight a real uphill battle and that's sort of like the thing is just like appreciating the importance of every minute minute in every game because we need to be like a playoff team there isn't like that has to happen so you, we, it has to happen soon mm, yeah. um on to the positives um yourself rocco um Justin, you made you made the call to get rocco back into the game in that third quarter because you liked what you saw in the second quarter um what was it for a 17 year old kid to come in and be able to sort of put harrison and baines on the bench and go look this is my my time to shine. Um, that was a crappy performance from you tonight. Yeah, like he was impacting the game in a in a more positive way than probably the other two at, at that moment. So, you know, we've said it time and time again: whoever's impacting winning gets the opportunity. And uh, he did a great job tonight. Rim protected, changed a lot of shots. Um, you know, continued to to be in positions to rebound, and then you know he's finishing at the moment as well. So, no, a good step forward for him, absolutely. Um, you know, I look at our you know. Chris Smith with 12 boards tonight. Great effort there by him. Um, you know, as, as Bano just said, like defensively, we were, we were super happy with it. It was just offensively, like we've got to get a better rhythm going. And the ball stuck at times. Um, you know, we we we've just got to keep making sure we we allow that that ball to move to get us the advantages that we know that are on the floor. Um, but yeah, when you talk about Rock, you know, that was a big part of it because he's getting a stop, changing a shot one in, we're able to run out and play freer and you know, that was a challenge down the stretch as well that took it out of the net too much and, and you know, couldn't get that freedom that we needed. I noticed there was a time there where he was on the floor and he came up to you uh, asking a question or something like that. Um, do you like to see that out of your young, you know, your next gen player coming up asking for feedback during the game? Um, pretty good positive signs for someone potentially <laughs> trying to make the NBA. I love that from all our players, you know, and I think we've got a great group. And this is the the frustration with our group is we know we're, we're right there. 
And again, we're in these positions that we're, we're not getting the result or the reward on the win, but we know every step we take, we, we're getting closer and closer to really cracking that thing. And as Bano said, though, now it's at the time where we've got to make it happen. All right? Otherwise, this year we, we, we've let it slip. And you know, that's where we just go back to work, continue to move forward, um, do the things that we know what winning will look like and have more consistency with it. And, you know, if we can remove those two, three-minute patches, like, we, we know we're right there. So that's our focus as we move, move forward to, to South East. Um, Shannon Scott tonight, in the post-game press comments last week, um, you were asked, you know, when can we expect him maybe to show glimpses of what he showed at the start of the season? He was right there tonight, picking people's pockets. That was, that's going to be huge for you guys uh, leading to this stretch, which is very important, him and Sam McDaniel. Yeah, absolutely. Like, um, yeah, like I thought both Shannon and Chris, you know, it's it's no secret they've they've had a little slump, but both of them gave us um, positive things tonight. Like Chris getting downhill and not just relying on the three, but finding a way to get fit in the paint. And you know, Shannon had an impact, which is what we wanted, and you know, he really set the table for us. Um, you know, obviously <laughs> he only has one assist, but that's because we can't make a shot right now. You know, like we we shoot thirty three percent. Um, but you know he's doing his job in finding people. Um, you know we'll evaluate where his hamstrings at um, tomorrow and, and see where that ends up. But you know right now um, we're, we're hopeful he'll be fine. Um, new import Casey, what, what what are your aspirations with him and how he's going to fit into the lineup? Uh, will he be playing this Saturday? Yeah, he'll definitely be playing this Saturday. Um, you know, don't expect 40 minutes. Ben, I won't let me do that. But uh, no, he's he's there to definitely provide support and and just the thing we're missing. Um, you know, even his pre-workout. You know, I've never seen so many people watch a workout uh, pre-game. But like, you know, it was evident that he's still Casey Prather that everyone remembers. And so we've just got to get him game shape um, through these first few games. And he's going to help us. Um, that edge that he has the winning experience he has is, is kind of the gap we've got right now. And uh, I look forward to him integrating in, continuing to support Bano at the, the four and, and other areas that we can utilise him. And, yeah, it was just a good vibe, him coming in. And I know he's, he's the shot in the arm we need Saturday night for sure. Chris, you're welcome to jump in. Justin, following up on that, when you bring in an, an import like Casey so far late into the season, how much does it help? that you've got a history with him. You've worked with him before, you've won a championship with him before. How much do, How much does that help? Yeah, I, I think it's super important. Um, you know, I've seen this situation work really well and I've seen it not. And, you know, I think just having history there, understanding what he's about, um, he fits what we're trying to do as a club. And, you know, we've, we, we've changed the entire culture of this club and he's exactly that sort of person that is going to now take it to another level and so those things are really what mattered as we brought him in you know like whatever he can give us on the floor is an absolute bonus as well um, but you know we had to make sure that those things were, were ticked off and that's where the the history matters um, it felt like you know we haven't had any time apart um, you know his basketball IQ is second to none and yeah his competitiveness is, is something that's going to help us for sure. Just on Shannon, you were right, he did look better tonight, but also it didn't look great with his hamstring late. I mean, are you concerned that it is going to now keep him sidelined? Yeah, absolutely. Like, um, you know, any time a player comes out that's in a re-injury area is a concern. But at this stage, signs are, are positive. Um, we haven't got, obviously, the full assessment till tomorrow. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll stay positive on that one and, and hopefully he'll be OK for Saturday. Obviously, the last three minutes, you know, weren't great. But up until that point, you had the momentum in the fourth quarter, and I thought it was your two, your two rookies, Josh and, and Rocco, that had sparked that. How, how good of a sign is that moving forward that you know your two freshest players in the league are able to put you in that position? Yeah, I mean, that's the future of our club. You know, we've made an investment in Bano for three years and we know Rock's with us for at least two. So, you know, that's exciting when the, the youth and the, the level of their talent um, is being able to be shown. And, you know, that's... I think people are only going to continue to see more and more. And I think everyone else is sometimes shocked with how well they're going, but, but we're definitely not. We know what we've got, um, you know, at our disposal and excited for the careers that they're going to have. And, you know, the sky's the limit for both those guys. Just the last one from me for you, Josh. Um, what are you looking forward to with adding Casey into the lineup, And what are you expecting to, to 
to be able to see him bring come Saturday night and beyond. I'm, def- I'm definitely excited for sort of like some like healthy competition like at my spot like we need we need sort of someone else who can play that spot and also rem- like I remember training as a, with Melbourne United as a young guy and being around him and seeing what he was capable of and you know if we can have that add that to our team that's a huge boost this time of year um, and I think like you know the numbers show offensively he's been a force in this league um, and you know that's probably an area we need a bit of a boost right now. So add that in and make a push towards the playoffs. Like that's super exciting. Like you, at, at the end of the day, you know, basketball. It's great. You you want to put good players together, and when you can add another great player into your team, that's super exciting. And we just matter of gelling him, sort of bringing him in, um, helping him fit in. But I think he's going to be huge in this last ten game stretch, pushing towards the playoffs. Do you keep starting? That's a bit question. Does Josh? That's a question for the boss man. <laughs> If he uh, gets more than how many rebounds you have tonight? No, absolutely. Josh will continue to start. Um, this was never about bringing Casey in to take his spot. It was to to help us win. And you know, wherever we we can fit, that'll be. Um, but yeah, Case knew the role coming in and is super excited to to help us with this playoff push. Thanks very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. No worries. Is that it? Yeah, you